Hi everyone, um, hope you're well and staying safe. Um, welcome to Monday morning's um, edition of Schools In. Um, my name is Mr Hal, um, I am a tennis coach down at Makeable Tennis Academy uh, in Phoenix Lake. Um, and today I'm going to take you through some basic tennis skills. Um, I'm going to start with some very basic ones and just give you a few progressions that you can do in your back garden. Um, and then we'll be some, doing some games towards the end. Okay, and most of these you'll be able to challenge your family and you can get competitive or you can just do them for a bit of fun. Okay, do not worry if you don't have a tennis racket and a ball. Okay, if you don't have a racket and ball, later on I'll be showing you different things you can use from the kitchen instead of a racket, which can also be a little bit of fun for you as well. The first one, exercise we're going to do is um, upsies. Okay, so all you need is, as I said, a ball and racket, and all you're going to try and do see how many of these you can do in a row okay um it's easier to keep the ball a little bit lower if you go higher then obviously it's a lot harder to actually control it so the ideal position is to keep it below your head height okay if you want to get competitive you can see how many you can do in 30 seconds and in that respect you're going to try and keep it as low as you can okay so you can see how many you can do in 30 seconds the next exercise is downsies okay so the opposite so this time i'm going to go down and again, the key here is to allow the ball to bounce up. Don't take your racket down too low, okay? And always keep your racket above the ball, so don't allow it to come down like that. So always keep your racket above the ball, and then you can speed it up when you get confident. Okay, and again, you can see how many you can do in 30 seconds. The next one, we've got Twizzlers, which is increasing the difficulty a little bit, but using both sides of your racket. Okay, the key point here is to make sure your racket is flat every time you make contact, okay? So flat racket face every single time. Okay, so, and again, you can see how many you can do in 30 seconds. The last one, this is a tricky one, it's called edgies, and all you have to do is try and use the edge of your racket, okay, and see how many you can do on the edge, okay? So those are those three exercises. As promised earlier, if you don't have a racket, things you can use instead. And even if you do have a racket, you might find this is more fun and exciting. Use a frying pan or a chopping board, okay? So we'll go over the frying pan first. Okay, so we've got the upsies, okay? Just like you're frying a pancake. And then you can also do the downsies, okay? And you can also use for, for twisters. And use both sides of the frying pan. And then the chopping board, Again, we've got the upsies, we've got the downsies, and we've got the twizzlers. So there's your first few exercises. Um, don't let your mum and dad see you using this equipment and not washing it up afterwards though. So make sure you do wash it up afterwards, okay? Next up will be the next exercise. Okay, so for our second exercise, um, a little bit of fun this time. As you can see, I've set up five cones. Um, if you don't have cones at home, you can use trainers, buckets, okay, anything for targets. Okay, and all my job is to knock down all five cones and see how many shots it takes me, okay? Obviously, you can make it easy by standing close to them. If you need to make it a little bit harder, stand further away. Again, if you don't have a racket, remember you can you could use a chopping board or a frying pan. Or if you don't have a tennis racket, why not use a cricket bat or any sort of bat you do have at home? Okay, so any sort of racket. Um, and again, if you don't have a tennis ball, any sort of ball you've got, probably not a football, might be too big for a racket, um, but any ball that you do have, okay? And all you've got to do is, as I say, down. All five cones like that. Good luck. Okay, so exercise three, we're now going to be using a wall, okay, to give you an idea of all that I'm going to be using, okay, so it's not huge, and yes, there are windows, but hopefully there will be no smashing of windows in this exercise, okay, so ideally find a safe wall, um, if you don't have a wall, then replace the wall with a family member, okay, because they can throw the ball to you, um, but all we're looking for is for you to control the ball against the wall, okay, it's a fantastic tool, even I, to this day, still use the wall and practice my shots, volleys, um, because it does develop the relationship between you, the racket, and the speed, okay? Because the further back you take the racket, the more power you're going to get, and it's going to come back a lot quicker against the wall, 
okay? So it's a really good tool. It's a really good aid for whatever level tennis player. And even if you've never played before, it's a great way to start to learn and get used to hitting the ball backwards and forwards, okay? So the first exercise we are actually gonna do is simply, just nice and slowly, just gentle hits against the wall, like this. Just nice and slowly, okay? And see how many you can do. See how many a row you can get against the wall, okay? Aim for 30. If you manage 30 really easy, go for 50. If 30 is too hard, then aim for 10, okay? Once you've done that, we can then increase the difficulty by not letting the ball bounce. So this time, just little volleys against the wall, okay? Without the ball bouncing, okay? So again, aim for 30. If it's too difficult, just go for 10, okay? And as I said, if you don't have a wall, have a partner and you can keep swapping over. So one person throws it, the other one hits back to you and then keep changing over, okay? And you can make it competitive to see who gets to 30 first. Good luck, okay? We're now gonna progress it from not only hitting against the wall, but you're now gonna hit against the wall and try and get it into a target. So I've got a flower pot, okay? If you've got a bucket, you can use a bucket. Um, or even if you've just got a trainer, you're gonna aim for the trainer. But the idea is you're gonna hit against the wall so then get the ball to land in your target. Let's see if I can do it. So we're gonna start here, just gentle taps. There we go, first time. And you can see how many times you can do it. So a little rally and try and get it in the basket. Okay, so the last exercise, this one's a bit of fun. Um, against the wall again, and we're gonna go for little volleys, but then speed it up to as fast as you can go. Okay, so I'm gonna start off nice and slow. Okay, but then speed it up. So as fast as you can go, while still keeping the ball go. It's a tough one, but give it a go. So there you go. There's a few exercises that you can practice at home um, with a racket, or if you don't have a racket, don't forget the frying pan or the chopping board, um, but do get permission first, kids. Okay, but challenge your family, see who comes out on top, have fun. Um, I'm Mr. Hal, as I say, from Maple Tennis Academy. If you like the exercise that you've just done and you fancy a bit of tennis, when we're back open, feel free to come down and see us. Um, but thanks for listening. Stay active, stay healthy. Bye-bye.